Okay, welcome back on the next step to Carling Glory, as I demand the installation of myself as the Duke of Barry. War it is. You're actually gonna try to fight me, bro. That's that's a that's a bold move, Cotton. Uh, you don't like me very much. My son. Well, if he dies, I have another. I'll give him some experience, you know, uh, leading troops. And why not? You too. My son. And you. And you. I don't actually have anyone who's a particularly good choice. You are trying to kill my wife. And you won't end the plot. I don't like that very much. Hey, you stop it. I could totally arrest you for that. So... Well, we could arrest you for saying no. If you did. Which, you won't because you're smart. You're a smart guy. Fourth? Thirteenth? Okay, let's do that. Eh, it's just a rumor. I don't care anymore. In fact, you can stop doing that. I don't care, and you can you can keep doing that. Because I'll eventually want to be able to maybe revoke that county if I need to. But for now, yeah. You're done, son. How's my second son coming along? He's okay. He might end up being my heir, because I'll be elective once I uh, take Barry, because I, you know, factioned for that in order to make sure I could be installed by faction. Captured in battle. Any chance that you'd be ransomed off? No. Didn't think so. You're not really worth anything. You know, let's just let's just sit and tour. No need to chase that army. I've got this war under control just from sitting still. You know, it'll take a little bit, but hey. Whatever. I mean, what are you going to do about it? You're down there. Oh no. Opportunist. Oh. <laughs> Not enough to make a difference. In fact, they just fed me some war score. You gonna try to just attack me like that? Are you that desperate? I guess I can see why. There's not much you can do. Um, here, I'll give you a battle. Let's, let's make sure you have some commanders here. But not me, actually, because this is a time where dying would be really, really bad. And hopefully this army, despite they can't progress the siege, I don't think the progress will restart, because they're still there. If I recall correctly. Yeah, we're killing some people here. And there we go. Oh, it looks like the siege progress did reset. I remembered wrong. Oops. Oh well. That's fine. I might end up wanting to get some mercenaries at some point, if I need them. 
Um, they're like super cheap kind. You know, uh, the... I just don't really have any money. Ideally, I won't do this. What would be really helpful right now would be to get a, a steward giving me money. So as of right now, I mean... You know, I've got enough money to last me quite a while. But... I haven't successfully improved relations with Rome in quite a while. I'm gonna send my Chancellor down there to do that, to help as well. You know, do the double dip strategy here. Or I can beg the Pope for money if I need to. For now, though. Um... I've got about 20 months worth of money. And every 12 days, so every month, it goes down about 9% or so. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty good here. And all you could do is kind of, can do here, Barry, is just kind of dick around a little bit. I could send the smaller army after you. And I think I will. Uh, it's okay. You know, no need to do that. No need to go after the army. Let's let's finish the siege first and see what the situation is. Let's not slow down that siege. Oh, I just popped over to looking kind of old here. I turned 50. Ugh. You're not a very good... You're not very good at being the, uh, the steward. I would love to have a better one. My current court chaplain isn't actually a strong vassal. And is just as good... How's this one? So let's let's content him a little bit. And send him down to do the same job. Now, I could maybe make you my spy master instead. But you know you're gonna you're gonna be dead soon. It doesn't matter that much. Hey you! Stop backing the plot. It's not a good plot. It's a bad plot. You guys getting old. It's fine though. I'm about to win this siege. And I don't know if that will win me the war entirely yet. But if it doesn't, I'll be very close. Yeah, I definitely won't actually need mercenaries. Which is good, because mercenaries can be pricey, even the new cheap mercenaries. I mean, they're, they're cheap, but they're small, and... Why is that? No more marriage ties, is it because... She already has a child by him. Still, I wonder if it would be worth... She has... Because she only has a female child. What if I married her to my... To my son. As was originally supposed to happen. I could marry him to the Princess of Sicily. Ah, see, but he, he won't get much fertile time out of her. And she's homosexual, which... 
will very much decrease their fertility because they won't be banging all the time. I think I'll decide on someone after I win this war because the extra prestige I'll get from being a level higher of rank might open up some options to me. Kill him! Hopefully leading troops gets his uh, education leveled up one. That'd be very helpful. My brother died. So now I just have my niece here. Poor girl. Still, getting her to expand the dynasty could be helpful. And now I am the Duke of Barry. Hell yeah. And that means I need to change and look in the, the, the vote thing. Because I can't nominate I can't vote myself for myself. So instead I'm voting for my boy. Because I want him to succeed me. Now. What options do I have? Ooh, I could fabricate a claim on the Duchy of Champagne. I don't see why not. That seems like a grand idea. Now. Ooh, I could marry the Queen of Aragon. And that is tempting. One problem with that is Aragon is actually nothing. And if you look, Dijor Kingdoms, the Duchy of Aragon isn't even part of Aragon. So, that would stop me from being able to expand within France. So it's not as appealing as it seems. Um, so I won't do it. Let's see though. Um, she's not likely to end up with a claim. She's a princess of Sicily. And she won't just upright inherit, but... Nah. She's already married. She's already married. And I don't think she, either of these two will get claims. And even if one of... Nah. So, let's see. Who should my son be married to? Princess of England, maybe? Could marry him to this younger French princess, who is the, the daughter of the current king rather than the sibling, and maybe we'll get a claim. Or should get a claim, I believe. I don't know, but I need to pick someone for him. I would love, as I've said before, to marry into, like, say, the Duchy of Flanders, but you're too young. Is she no longer an option, or maybe... Oh yeah, she's betrothed now. Damn it. That's what I could get for waiting, I guess. Um, I could get a princess of the Empire, Holy Roman Empire, and eventually get a claim on that. It's not a terrible idea. I might do that. I mean, eventually I would like to take the Empire. Um, either way, I'll unpause for a moment. I'll be giving it some thought, but... Okay, let's go ahead and... Oh, my liege is trying to raise money, isn't he?
Anyone I could get to join? One person could be bribed into it. That's not enough. Still, I am a duke now. That should should up my stewardship. Oh, I don't want to claim Anjou for him. Oh, he's excommunicated. It's interesting. Not that helpful, but interesting. All right, I've got my troops still raised. Let's put them down. So now I would like to become a double duke. Yeah, I can send him into hiding because people are trying to kill him, but... No, this is my vassal. Would I be allowed to revoke the title or would that be tyrannical? That would be tyrannical. Well, I'm not going to get that going. Successfully so. Let's take a look. Any vassals that deserve to be on the council? He expects it, but he's only a baby! <laughs> uh, I wonder if I could just murder him. Quite possibly. Thing is, he has enough family that it wouldn't ever default to me. Can I ransom him himself? Yeah! Yeah, I'll do that. You know, maybe it would have been smart to, uh... Just hold him imprisoned. But for now... No need. Is there a revoke plot? No. What would I need to be able to do that? I'll keep this open for the moment, and go and spy on him, maybe? See if I get the opportunity. Okay, you're still married to your old wife. Hopefully you'll die, you know, pretty soon. Alright, I still need to get my son married to someone. And I can't just, you know, guarantee, oh, well, it's fine if I wait a little while, because while it used to be the AI never used betrothals, now it seems they do. Could get him a pretty wife. I could... I think... Man, it's annoying that I, I... I should have just betrothed him to her. wonder if I can kill her betrothed and steal her. No, not likely. Well, I'm just going to keep this as my active plot and see if any opportunities arise. But I need to find my boy, someone to marry, and I think... For now, my best bet. Uh, I love that and get the strong in my dynasty, but that would that would kill his prestige, which I don't really want. I think I think that might be the best bet, and then maybe if I'm lucky, I'll get an opportunity to press that claim. But for now, 
Ooh. Okay, so he's been saying shitty things about the King of France. Um, so do I threaten him to help him join my factions? Um, I can't do any factions. So I'm telling... Ooh. Um, there we go. She's probably not going to end up being great as a person, but she'll be... Ha. Publicly denounced and humiliated. Will that help at all? No. That's fine, though. I mean, I'm doing all right here. And I think this will be a fine place to end the episode. I mean, I've, I've done quite well for myself. I'm the Duke of Barry. I'm hoping I can become Duke of Champagne as well. And it won't be too long before my wife inherits these counties, I hope. Well, and, you know, I could maybe do something to help that along, but if not, well, it'll happen eventually. And from there, we'll see what I can do. I mean, I have a lot of nice options here. And hopefully that all goes well for me. To find out, you know, you know where to see the videos. Just subscribe so you can uh, get notified when it arrives. Thank you for watching.